We're going live with your show intro in five minutes. Thanks. Uh, just let me run through it once to make sure I've got it. <clears throat> Who will be named as your top ten? Prepare yourself for drama as our contestants get their hands dirty, glad-handing with the CEO of a manure company to see who can get the upper hand for their fall fertilizer campaign. It's all hands on deck, coming up next on America's Next Top Hand Model. Do you think there's too many hand puns? It's perfect. It's not heavy-handed at all. <laughs> I see what you did there. <laughs> hey, hey, sorry I missed your other call. I'm at my new hosting gig. Look, if this is about getting Baron Corbin a spot on the show, I'm still relatively new here, so I don't think I have that kind of pull yet. Oh, okay, good, because honestly, I don't think Baron's hands are anything to write home about. <laughs> Wait, what'd you say? Really? That, that's amazing! Did you tell Red yet? Yeah, she's been hard to reach lately. Okay, I'll, I'll try her. This is truly an honor. Thank you so much. Ah, ooh, ah, oh, yeah, ooh, 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 I'm gonna be famous, or I'm gonna be famous, or. Oh! <laughs> yes! Only when Joe That's my him, ring and, and my championship. I hate you, Brooklyn! Because... What? Hey! It's been a while. How's it going? I'm great. I'm on vacation at the beach, which is why no one's been able to reach me. I'm trying to disconnect, you know? Oh, that's good to hear. I only have a minute, so I'll make this quick. I just got some amazing news. We're going into the WWE Hall of Fame together. Really? Wow, I I'm shocked. I mean, I thought it would happen someday, but definitely not this fast. They didn't say this, but I'm assuming they want to capitalize on my crossover appeal as host of ANTHM. I'm sure that's it. I know we didn't expect our careers to end the way they did, but it's nice to know we accomplished enough to go into the Hall of Fame. And more importantly, we're going in together just like it's always been. Yeah, it is nice. Hey, I gotta run. Don't relax too much. You know what they say about idle hands. Ooh, I gotta work that into tonight's show. Congrats. You too. Ooh, I wish I could see Brooklyn's reaction. <laughs> I'm sure she won't be happy. Which makes me happy. Move! Don't look at me, don't look at me, get out of my way! Are you kidding me? Those two pieces of human trash are going into the Hall of Fame? This has to be a joke! They were only in the WWE for a cup of coffee. You know what? An actual cup of coffee deserves to be inducted before they do! Ah! Take it easy. We're all entitled to our opinions, but there are certain realities you can't dispute. While Red and Trey may have had shorter careers than the typical Hall of Famer, the impact they made during that time was tremendous. So it doesn't matter if you or anyone else disagrees, they are going to get the recognition they deserve. We'll see about that. Man, feels like we've been up here for like 15 hours. Hope everyone's still with us. But uh, I think that pretty much sums everything up, right? Yeah, I think we covered it all. And there's only one thing left to do. List, please. <laughs> it's time to cross off one final list item together. Get inducted into the WWE Hall of Fame. Shoot, I think I forgot a pen. Seriously? I've got one you can use. I I'm sure someone else in this arena has a spare pen, so you can go sit down. Take it easy. I just wanted to come up here in front of the world to say congratulations and finally put our differences behind us. I would never do anything to take away from your special night that you so rightfully deserve. Trey, even your birth parents are here, which is amazing! Stand up, please! But before you finish up, there's just one thing I want to mention that you left out of your speech. You see, Red wasn't 100% honest about what led to her retirement and later her best friends. In fact, it turns out she has a little secret, which is the real reason she walked away from WWE. You have to do something. She's gonna ruin everything. 
I'm sorry, but I'm done hiding this for us. It's over. What really happened was I found out the truth behind this secret, and she didn't want me to tell anyone. So she chose to retire instead. But I couldn't sit back and let her get away without everyone knowing the real Red. So let's start with this. That lovely older couple in the audience, they're not Trey's parents. I know, because they're fakes I hired to be here. That letter you got that said they were coming tonight, also a fake. But if you want to see your real parents, I can make that happen. Here they are. Yeah, that pretty much says it all. And look at the date there. They were already long gone by the time we were in high school. Which makes you wonder, Trey. How could they have written you a letter? Maybe someone else wrote it to try to manipulate you into doing whatever they wanted. And maybe that person was so miserable and lonely, they had to resort to something morbid like that to ensure they always had a friend at their side. But who would do such a terrible thing? Certainly not your so-called best friend, right? Is this true? We're not finished here. If you come any closer, I will crush his neck. And the same goes for anyone else. If you try to stop us, I will end him. <laughs> 